Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop, continuing to work on the mobile grinding station. So, we're going to remove the blue point grinder from this Harbor Freight base. And for now, we'll probably remove this part, because obviously I'm not going to keep that on there like that. So, everything is wing nutted to this table. Make it nice and easy. Hope you guys are staying safe out there, staying healthy. Get this guy out. I ran two, uh, looks like machine screws. I think I might redo this. I'll have to see how it sits. With angle iron, maybe. Or some tubing. Or I might just put a wheel on it because I already have a machine that does the exact same thing with this does. That should be free now. Yep. Okay. Okay. This guy, I have to say, just real quick, get this guy off. Oh, man, we need to do that. Well, I'll finish taking that off and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we got it off. And I kind of been messing around with where I'm going to put it on there. I think I'm going to favor this side. I'm not going to put that thing back on there. I'm going to put a wire wheel. Um, it's mounted there. That way, for stripping paint off parts on machines I'm working on, I have a big area to, you know, muscle stuff up to it. Um, the grinder thing that was on it, right here, there's no manufacturer's marks or anything. I don't know if this was part of this when you bought it from the Snap-on truck, or if this is like a Harbor Freight generic add-on thing, but it's pretty flimsy and chintzy, so that's not going back on there. If anyone could use this for something, let me know in the comments. So, that guy's going to sit there. The I'll have to make a new thing if I choose to reuse this light and the shield. There's no seeing that. And obviously, it got a little hot and melted. into it a bit so maybe we will find something else or just not use that all the wiring's under here so it's easy to lift up and i can eliminate that so then that guy is going to basically go opposite of it right here now what i think i'm going to do is go to the steel yard tomorrow and get a see this lip around here Sorry, the, sitting in a chair and it's weakened. I think I'm going to cut a plate out of just eighth inch, maybe. I don't think I need to go any heavier. And put that on here to kind of reinforce it so it doesn't sag. I mean, I'm going to have both things on the very end where they're the strongest. And there's plenty of room. I took the door off. It just hooks. It has two hooks. One goes back there, one there. So I get, I'll be able to put that on and still have clearance because there's this distance above there for bolting them down. But yeah, I really think, I think I want to cut out a plate for that. 
and this is all it's got one sheet of this over this normal sheet metal as a reinforcement for it I think that will help cut down on vibration and stuff too not that that really bothers me but yeah so that guy's gonna go there put the other guy here and I'll go to the steel yard tomorrow and get some sheet steel and oh I think I'm gonna bust out the old uh oxyacetylene torch and cut it out we'll see I needed to change the plug on the uh that plasma cutter so it's not usable right now the plug it the plug it came with was all cracked and stuff i used it for testing purposes plus the air regulator i have a seal coming for it it leaks really bad the part that knocks the pressure down in the back so we'll just cut up the cutting torch clean up the grinder again it's a chop tool but you know we want to make it look as nice as we can and then uh before i mount this there's no uh I'd like to have braking casters on it. But they're kind of recessed in there. So I think what I'm going to do is they just uh, four bolts. I'm going to get the one size bigger. This is as plastic casters. One size bigger steel casters and have a brake on it. That way if I have to lean into something, I'm not chasing this thing around the shop as I'm leaning on it. So yeah. That's today's quick update on this. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.